Hey David, Stefan here. Just uh, wanted to show you a method that I came up with to allow you to embed uh, custom bitmaps inside of a font atlas using Text Mesh Pro and basically not having to use BM font or texture packer or any of this stuff. So step one on how to do this is we're going to go up here to our window and uh, bring up the font atlas creator. We're going to pick a font. These are just TTF or uh, open type font. I'm going to pick, uh, let's say, this bangers font. I'm going to just hit uh, generate. So this is the font that we just rastered. Um, but in this case, um, we're looking for, uh, in your example, you only had like the uppercase characters. So I'm going to pick uppercase, uh, generate again. So we got the uppercase. And now what we need to do is add some space up here so that we can add your special character. So the easiest way to do that is instead of using auto sizing, I'm going to move to custom and instead of 88 points, I'm going to go to 84. Uh, and that gave us extra room at the top. Good enough. We're going to save this. Um, so now we've saved our font asset. The asset is now right here, bangers. This is the one we did. So we're going to create a text mesh pro object right there. And instead of saying hello world, well, first we're going to assign the new font. Forgot. So bangers right there. Now we see all these uh, X that show up. That's because you're, uh, the font atlas right now is only using uppercase characters and the lowercase are missing, which is why we get the X. So we'll say you got uh, 15. We're going to use this. Oops. Let's put 15. You're going to use this for fish exclamation point. And I won't put a space. So I see it better. Okay. So you got 15, whatever fish. Okay. So now what we need to do is edit our font atlas that we created. So I'm going to pick this font and I added this uh, contextual menu. Let me scroll this over here. Um, you'll probably not see the thing because it's going to be outside the record window, but I have this extract atlas here that I added. And what it does is it created this font atlas right here for us. Uh, I'm going to basically go and oops, choose advance. It's a 512 by 512 texture. We want RGBA and that's good. We're going to go back to our font atlas and we're going to tell it whatever material it's using, we want it to use this new texture that we created right here. Okay. Now we're going to go to our texture, open up Photoshop, which is right there. My Photoshop skills are ridiculously limited, uh, so don't laugh. Um, so I guess first step, um, I'm going to oops, invert the image. I'm going to go to, I preloaded your fish thing. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back to the font and paste the fish. Then I will scroll around and take the fish, move it up. Right now it's too big, so I'll shrink it. And I'll say that's fine and I'll put the fish like somewhere uh, like here. Make sure it doesn't overlap with anything. I will select the fish and I'm going to write down where the fish is. So I'm looking for the X and Y, which is 185 and 8, 185, 8. And then the width and the height is 115 and 61, which is great. So we're going to go here and we're going to save this. We want to save it as a PNG and we're going to save it over the existing font atlas that we just loaded. We're going to go back to Unity, and now the complicated part. Not really. So we'll pick our bangers font asset that we created. We're going to go into the glyph table right there. We're going to find the character that we care to replace, which is this one here. And we're going to type the 185, uh, 8, 115, and 61. So here's our fish. I'm not going to play with the X advance, but I am going to adjust the Y position. So, you know, so it kind of lines up where we want it. And then the X advance determines how much spacing um, this character, the fish, gets after it. So it needs a lot of spacing after it. So we'll do it this way. And now we're done. So if I go back to Text Mesh Pro now and I type, well, if I delete and I say sum new fish uh, exclamation point so now you can see it's embedded in there um, now it's a bitmap font which is what we generated it's using your custom graphic into it uh, we're still using text mesh pro so 
all of our um, functions still work. So I can change the colors of the font and all these different things. I can adjust the font size if I want to. Um, I can obviously adjust character spacing. I'm using the mouse, so it goes pretty fast. Um, so we can adjust all these different attributes, line height, whatever stuff. Um, we can texture it, so it's all there, everything works. Uh, if you need to tweak your font too, um, whatever process you use to create the gradient, you'll have to do that, because if you use our gradient from us, let me show you what it's going to do. Um, actually, I'll use a black and white gradient. won't be as bad. So if I use a gradient, it does add a gradient, but the gradient, as you can see, from gray to white to gray right here, but it does affect the fish itself because it's applied to the entire atlas. So you may want to do your gradients whichever way you were doing it, and then that way would leave your fish unaffected, or not necessarily your fish, but whatever custom graphics you have. Um, so, and the reason I brought that up, by the way, is we have extra padding. So if you ever needed to add stuff that went outside the bounds of the character by doing extra padding, you can see the mesh grows here to give you a little bit extra room uh, to do whatever you need to do. So this is it. Um, I don't know what your current process is to go embed custom characters into your font atlas. I don't know how much time it takes. Um, this is not the way that I want to implement this. I want to do it in a much better way, but this way works. Uh, just let me know how it is in terms of, you know, complication. Is it complicated right now? Is it too fast, too slow, whatever? Uh, just give me some feedback. Um, so last thing I want to show is, again, all of our tags would work. So if I was to uh, go here and say size equal plus 14, and close that, you see that the text got all bigger, and if I close out the size attribute, we basically made the S larger than the other characters. Uh, the color attributes would still work, so if I go and I want to make the word orange, uh, the word new orange, then orange is uh, 80, no, it's FF8000. So now you can see we tinted the fish too, but in this case, I'll just and the color right there. So now we can add our colors, all of our stuff. If you had a gradient, obviously the orange would affect it, but hey, that's the scoop. So let me know what your thoughts are and uh, I'd appreciate some feedback. Thanks.